My name is Master Sharon Trova. I'm originally from Zimbabwe. So what uh, do you want me to pray for you? Uh, is the divorce issue and the joblessness and the spirit of rejection that I face wherever I go. What I, I want you to remember with, there was a chimon. Chimon, you know chimon? A chimney, yes. Uh, I just I want you to remember that place where there was a chimon. My parents' house in Harare, it does have a chimon. And uh, there are other houses, because it's in the Lodin city, there are other houses in the street, and our parents' house, there's a, there's a chimney. There's no peace at home. And starting with my parents, uh, my mother is a bitter woman because of the treatment that my dad gave to her in this house. And there's no peace. Even as children, there's no unity between us. I try to bring everyone, but there's no peace whatsoever. Witchcraft was involved. Uh, this woman looks my dead sister. There is a story I didn't want to talk about. Uh, men of God, let me confirm, there's actually a story behind this. At our grandparents' farm where my parents are staying, she was the one who was staying at the farm. So when my dad got retrenched, as we used to go there holidays, Every holidays, we spend a month and, and go back to stay in the city. So when my dad got retained in 2010, uh, she also said that all her life she has stayed in the... Jesus. She has stayed at the farm. Now she also wants to stay in the city. So she went to stay at the parents' house, which was also in town. So my parents went to stay at the farm. Uh, each time they would go, in their bedroom, there was a clay pot which had names in there. So... They did not know because it was closed. But this particular day, my mother said that I need to do thorough cleaning. So she moved the pot only to find out that there were names, my dad, for starting from my dad's name and my five siblings, only my mother's name was not in the pot. And a lot has been done. She would bring um, people and they would go to our grandparents' graves and do stuff there. And there is a boy who almost ran mad because of these issues. My brother, the one who comes after me, is taking drugs. Good evening, going for our sister from South Africa. My hallelujah belongs to Jesus. My hallelujah belongs to you. Come on! Have your freedom in Jesus. You always have a pain which comes and disappears. Yes. At the back. <laughs> That's true, man of God. That's true. From 2017, I could not sit properly because I spent like eight hours in the office sitting in nature. A special prayer for her back. This pain to go away. In Jesus' name.